It's a monumental day for Patriots fans and sports fans around the world. At the age of 44, Tom Brady formally announcing his retirement on social media. Binjix tell me they have personally seen and experienced what Ukrainians are going through right now. They also shared with me what the country means to them and to their homeland of Poland. And following an invasion of Russian forces, they add they needed to do something. The city of Boston is buzzing after the Boston Marathon returned to its usual time slot in mid-April. It's a little hard to describe the energy and positivity around me right now. Here at Full Gospel Church, take a look at the amount of clothing, food, and medical supplies that the community has shared. Up for consideration, locking students' cell phones in magnetic pouches throughout the school day. I took questions to students, parents, and one school committee member to get their thoughts. You can just feel the opening day magic in the air. Baseball is back in Boston, and fans tell me they're thrilled to return to America's most beloved ballpark, Fenway Park. Airport officials tell me there were 35 cancellations yesterday, and that number is back up to double digits again today. I've spoke with people who've exhausted their time and money here trying to get in the air this week. It's a picture-perfect night for a ball game. I'm here at Polar Park, home of the Worcester Red Sox, where the team is getting ready to celebrate 4-1-3 night. As Dan and Don just mentioned, is a little bit slick where I'm standing here on Osborne Terrace off of Page Boulevard. But let's take a look. Overall, looks pretty good. I mean, there's a light coating of snow, but the snowplow drivers have done a great job cleaning it up. Here at the DCU Center, the UMass Minutemen season came to a close against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Everyone suiting up in their new gear, looking their best at Wednesday's big playoff game. Running with the toys for the end zone. And the event started tonight at 6 p.m. at the Indiana Convention Center. I'm not sure if the out of bounds lines were observed there or anything. I mean, were, were there any penalties for roughing the passer? Oh, Don, you dog. <laughs> 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 and a good day to stay inside if you're in the convention center. Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins died this morning at the age of 24. He was struck and killed by a dump truck while trying to cross a highway on foot in South Florida. The University of Massachusetts women's basketball team held a selection Sunday party earlier tonight, gathering together as the bracket was officially unveiled for the upcoming NCAA tournament. It's completely blown apart by like the third or fourth game of the tournament. You know so. what, but those first three or four games, they're oh so fun, thinking, oh, is oh, this absolutely. the year? Absolutely, thinking, maybe this is the year my bracket is not done before the first weekend is over, but this right. year, just like every other year, yeah, I already tore my bracket to pieces, forget that it. That deluge of rain we got yesterday, that was symbolic of how my bracket looks. So yours is just as bad as mine, basically. You know what, we're on a hot streak, but I know it's going to come crashing down <laughs> back to earth soon enough. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us on Western Mass News at 6. I'm Matt Zatilli. Well, Zach talked about it, a crazy weather day, sun, rain, even hail here in Western Mass. We continue our team coverage of Winter Storm 2022. Let's check back in with Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford, who's stationed in Palmer. If you want to forget us, it's very easy for us to forget you. I'm surprised because there's nothing like a Massachusetts fan or a New England fan. When Tom Brady announced his retirement from the NFL on Tuesday morning, he paid close attention to only one of his two former teams and not the one that welcomed him in for 20 years. Some fans tell Western Mass News they didn't jump to conclusions. His current team is Tampa, so we mentioned them. He's mentioned us plenty of times. It was what it was. You know, he's got his thing down there with them, uh, and he has uh, an even better thing up here with us. Brady's lengthy social media posts saluted Buccaneers teammates, fans, and ownership. Even the photo he used was taken from the October 3rd showdown against his former team at Gillette Stadium. Instead, Pats Nation received a short and sweet message from TV12 hours later in a retweet of a supportive post from Patriots owner Robert Kraft. It reads, Thank you, Patriots Nation. I'm beyond grateful. Love you all. Which left one Pats season ticket holder less than enthused. He put us on the map. We also put him on the map. I think it's pretty classless of him, which is surprising. He usually says the right thing. And others tell Western Mass News just like his career on the field, which produced countless fourth quarter comebacks and postseason heroics, they hope Brady will save his best for last. We do need a thank you because we have been there for him even when he went to Tampa Bay. We're doing all we can from Western Massachusetts to help our, you know, our friends, families, loved ones, colleagues. 
we're, we're all in it together. Alexander and Walter Binchik of 413 Dumpster in South Hadley designed a custom-made truck displaying the Ukrainian flag to help fundraise and support the people of Ukraine. It's great to see how passionate not just our employees are, but everyone around us, people that we called up, suppliers, who jumped on this idea right away to help us out. After deciding to take action over the weekend, the dumpster was painted Monday morning and will soon join the 413 fleet. We have uh, two organizations that we're partnering with right now to do so. Um, as well as just spread overall awareness. Alexander's grandfather, Walter's father, is from Ukraine and their family hails from Poland. Walter shared with Western Mass News his memories of Russian troops from the 1980s. I served in the Polish Army. I was stationed next to the uh, Russian station Borno Solinovo, so it was stationed 40,000 Russian soldiers. I work with them. Uh, the very, uh, very tough people. And current scenes from Eastern Europe hit close to home. Mothers. Oh. And fathers have to say goodbye to them. It's very touchy to me. And I can picture myself doing it. Sorry. So that's why I'm doing it. And he talked about how closely bonded the two countries are, sharing languages, traditions, even family members who remain there. I speak the language. Uh, I know the people, and uh, I feel so sorry for them. Uh, right now. As for how long the Ukrainian flag will be displayed proudly and prominently. This thing is going to be in service however long it has to be. Uh, we're not plan planning on taking it out. We're not planning on changing any colors. It's blue and yellow for a reason. We want people to see that.